If you ever wanted VIP special access to professional soccer match in the United States, this is the episode for you. We've got wild fans, we've got bananas, we've got delinquents, we've got special access to the players, field side action, we've got the views that you cannot get from TV, and the legend of how a raccoon might be the defining moment of this team's season. So a raccoon, I stormed the field at Super Park. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Because Football. We're back in the United States. Tonight it's the League's Cup. Philadelphia Union, Charlotte SC, down at the Sub Subaru Park, Chester, PA, just outside of Philadelphia. So excited to get down there. Thank you to LSA, Language Services Associates, my old employer, for these tickets. Thank you to Scott Cooper. We're gonna see Scott soon. Scott and I obviously knew each other from LSA, but we bumped into each other at Union preseason. He's a huge soccer fan. Got the invite to Club LSA and these field side seats, which are really excited to check out. So about to head down to the stadium. Ride is here, so we're ready to go. Cool, here you go. All right, so we're on the way on the blue route, heading down to Subaru Park in Chester. League's Cup's kind of a new competition. It's only the second year so far that they've been doing it. We've got all the MLS teams mixed up in groups with all of the Liga MX teams from Mexico. And this year, the Union have Charlotte, which is still a newer franchise, and Cruz Azul, which will be next week. So Union have had a tough season. A lot of games have been within a goal. I haven't seen them too much this year, but from talking to a lot of people, it seems like they're really close to just one or two pieces or a little more luck going their way. For the last two games or the last week or so, they exploded. They scored like five goals in each game, multiple hat tricks, just killing it for the last two games. So luck might be turning around a little bit. I mean, it's not even August yet. I think statistically they still have a small chance of making the playoffs but with the league's cup it's a totally different competition it's an opportunity to try some new things or just get some mojo and momentum for the tournament itself you know last season they made it to the semis i was here when when messi and inter miami absolutely humbled the union with like three first half goals it was rough the results haven't been great it's been a tough season probably the most exciting thing and the most important thing for any world football fan would be Kevin Sullivan. Last week he made his debut with the Union, youngest ever player to debut in a sport in North America, in any professional sport. 14 years, 200 something days. I mean, he's a 14 year old, so he could go Freddie Adu, or he could go, I don't know, Phil Foden. Kevin's a local Philadelphia kid. His older brother, Quinn, has already been playing for the Union for three, four seasons, and I think is only 20, 21 now. So he's kind of the latest in this Union pipeline that's developed a lot of players, like Brendan Aronson, his brother Paxton Aronson, Mark McKenzie, Austin Trusty, like guys who are, are really playing their trade in Europe, and then now Kevin. Especially with, with it being kind of a, a dark cloud over the season with tough results, Kevin has kind of been this new uh, new bit of excitement and some hope for the franchise going forward. For me, I'm not sure if, if they're just trying it for to save face a little bit, a little bit of marketing action to, to give the fans something to be excited about because it's really been negative. I know a lot of games have ended up with the fans just booing the players off the field and it's just gotten kind of ugly at times in the stadium. And there's no doubt that he's got talent. He's one for the future. He's already got a pre-contract side with Manchester City. So when he turns 18 in about three to four Four years we'll head over over to Manchester but the problem with him is we get him we get his talent until he's 18 and then he gets shipped off that's what we do with our talent we'll see if we get a Kevin Sullivan sighting tonight too to LSA for the VIP passes for parking as well. Saving us probably, I think it's like 40 bucks now for parking, which has always been the Achilles heel of uh, of the Union Hello. Match Day experience. Hi. How are you? I can't complain, how y'all doing today? Good, yeah. pretty hey, you're good. You're going in awesome. here, okay? Fantastic. VIP! VIP, there we go. You she got us. <laughs> yeah, it's always been like the big Achilles heel of the entire Subaru Park Match Day experience, a parking situation down here and then just getting out with all the traffic because there's very few inroads. Alright, here we are. It's right behind those trees there. We got pops. What do you got? Camo secret weapon there? Secret weapon, yes. So, yeah. I got a nice Yinger. This is what you drink standard Pennsylvania, Philadelphia 
Yingling Lager, Yinger. Not the most picturesque view here in the parking lot, but it's Chester. But at least we've got some wildlife here with our friendly groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil. He's getting some pre-match bites before he watches the game too. You don't get this wildlife just everywhere, all right? This is special National Geographic type of stuff here. After soaking up the local wildlife tour, we just sat, we got to catch up a bit. This is definitely our worst tailgate ever. I don't know what we were thinking. We were super unprepared. We didn't even have chairs, so we tried to squeeze into the trunk. You can see how comfortable I look. Didn't even have food. Normally we've got sausages, like my dad heats up a brick and puts it in a cooler and it keeps them hot all day, so it's usually perfect. Still good to catch up. And then we went to find some Philly Union fans to check in on how the season's been. Have you guys been to like most of the home games this season? Probably yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been here since the beginning, so we remember yeah. when you just came for friendship was our yeah. and drinking. I know, now we're a little spoiled. Now we're a little spoiled. Now we're a little sure. spoiled, we remember. We got the, the hoagies, we got some pizza, like what's the typical food set up? How do we organize that? Who it's usually the morning, the morning of. So what's the plan today? What are we doing? I'm so bringing we'll, pizza. Okay, yeah. we'll bring some. And one year we, we grilled like, um, Someone brought like lobster, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Wow. I, did, I did that. That was <laughs> that was a playoff game. Yeah. Or what? That's a Tom. I feel that like was, Tom. That was the one that happened. Yeah, I wish today was a lobster <laughs> day. Oh, we need a bit better showing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, bring out I the lobster. Some games it's like a gent, like a nice big like group, and other games it's like this, like nice and quiet. Yeah, chill. Easy going. Yeah. Sometimes we'll have the grill. Sometimes it's just pizza and hoagies. Nice. And a couple of Can't cores. Go wrong. Exactly. <laughs> How do we feel about the, the theme of cabin kind of coming through? What I like the fact that we're seeing more and more coming out of this academy. Like for years, they yeah. lost track of all the homegrowns that we've yeah. gone and sold. Now we need to take that money. Yeah, someone needs to go back into the academy, keep them, keep them going, keep them growing. But we also have to invest in the first team because there is a point where you got to start investing also back into the first yeah, team. Yeah, I feel like that's them. that's what this season is kind of bringing out. Like we're like, well, we want a trophy. It's like. It's Philadelphia, like we want, like, we want a trophy. I'm okay with playing money ball, but you gotta, you gotta start with the first team at yeah. some point. It's yeah. gotta go in there yeah. at some point. So uh, a non-negotiable part of the most American sporting experiences is you need a car. This is just gonna keep filling up more and more and more and more cars. But I think on the positive side, it does create this really nice tailgating atmosphere. People can drive down their grills and tables and chairs and anything they want. You know, we've got different games like yard games, barbecue games to kind of make the whole experience. Now we're in it. Got our official LSA bucket. Love that. It was meant to be, we could get the bucket hat to compliment all the Argentina and the, the South American footy vibes here. So we're at the Union Yards, which is pretty cool. This is only like a year or two old. We got some kids playing, we got a little bit of turf, we got a ball, next generation playing, we got beer stands, we have the play-by-play -play announcers that you can hear that makes this audio sound terrible. A nice picnic tables. I'm gonna head inside here, it's pretty nice pretty popular right now. And despite the good cheer and the beer at Union Yards, it still wasn't tough to find disgruntled fans, like Tyler, who was wearing a shirt in protest at the team yeah, owner. Really been that bad. Yeah, it, it has. Weak spots are starting to show. It, it's starting to show. Look at Cincinnati. Cincinnati has so much of our staff, like our, their head coach was our, one of our old assistant coaches. They literally have multiple ex-union players. They have an owner willing to spend the money on the off season, it's not for next season, not for that, like this season, but for three seasons away. Like I love the fact that our academy is amazing. I like the fact that we have three union players on the junior Olympic team. But when your senior team starts to slide, as far as the union has slid this year, <laughs> cool. So you won results. Yeah. So we got Kevin now. Do you think it's just like they're trying to do some marketing saving face, or you think he can make an impact right now? Oh, uh, yo, yo, get out, get out, out of here. Yeah, get out it's both. It's both. It's, 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 it's honestly. I think Kevin is a generational talent. But the problem with him is we get him, we get his talent until he's 18, and then he gets shipped off. That's what yeah, we yeah. do with yeah, our yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah. Anyone that shows somewhat talent, they get shipped and off. You can argue it brings us money. Right. But if, but like, if you're getting money and not spending it, who cares? Maybe some valid points in there, but after.
after that, I was a little bummed and not in the right mood for the game. So I decided to head over to hear what Union TV announcer Dave Leno had to say. Let's flip the script tonight. Let's protect this house. It all starts with you. This club was founded by supporters. You're the heart. You're the soul. You're the ethos of this badge. One, two, three. Union. Bum, bum, bum. Union. One more time. Union. Let's meet Charlotte tonight, everybody. Let's go. I feel for Dave. The fans were not really giving him the passion back that he deserved. Remind me that this club is more than this season. So I figured I'd talk to some other fans and get a little bit different kind of story. Yeah, yeah, man. No, Icarus, the best, the best, only Icarus. What was your first union game? Uh, ironically, Charlotte, 2022. I work in 911 locally, and it was Telecommunicator Week. They gave us uh, tickets for Telecommunicator Week um, to support us. So I was like, I'll go. And it was the coolest thing ever. And I went to probably every single home game after that. Uh, we became season ticket holders after that. You were just hooked, man. Like, what What did it for um, the, the atmosphere, honestly. Um, so I'm a, I'm a big race fan, too, like NASCAR. And the fans here remind me of, of that. Very vocal groups of fans. Uh, plus, the sport's great. Um, I know people in America complain about the lack of scoring. I think it makes it more fun. Because when they score, to get, you know, 20,000 people in the stand, all the same time to get up and start cheering. It means more, yeah, it means way more. Like, what's your normal routine or ritual for the match day experience here? Like, um, are you part of Sons of Bad? Yeah, yeah, we'll come here and uh, meet up with all these, these folks here. And Today, there's no official tailgates, so this is what we call the non-official tailgates. You bring your own food, and they'll provide members with uh, some alcoholic beverages. Cool. A lot of times, so uh, me and some of my my group that we hang out with, uh, we'll do our own tailgates. We'll set up in our in our parking lot over there. We'll just start cooking we'll eat burgers or whatever. You know what I mean? And just have a fun time. It's it's a really good group of people. They're like family. You know what I mean? I met these guys um, two years ago, and we just hang out all the time. I mean, it, they really are like family. So. That's awesome. Joe, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy the game. Talking to Joe was a refreshing reminder of just what the club can mean to someone, whether in the highs or the lows. But speaking of highs, let's talk about Raquinho. So a raccoon in the middle of this this awful union season stormed the field at Super Park. In just protest. Uh, yeah, he was upset with everything. The uh, grounds crew had to chase him down, had to put a trash can on top of him. The whole thing, and a legend was born. Yeah. So we're just waiting for that good raccoon luck to like set in, though. That's I've been like waiting. All, I've been waiting all season. It's gonna I'm start waiting tonight. All season. It's gonna start tonight. We've had it. We're on a two-game winning streak. If we win League's Cup, it's the raccoon's fault. That's all I'm gonna oh, say. Yeah. That's all. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. say. Right, Thank you guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Enjoy. Enjoy. So it's clear after talking to people that it's been a heavy season but there still seems to be a lot of uh, discontent, some cynicism about the season. We're gonna see if the Union can get off to a good start to the League's Cup tonight. I mean, they're hosting both matches, which is definitely an advantage, especially in Philadelphia. I was looking it up, I think over the, the course of the last season, the Union were in the top five in the league in terms of average attendance percentages. So Subaru Park holds about 18 and a half thousand people. It's towards like the bottom of the middle of, of stadium capacities within the league. However, in terms of average attendance, in terms of like packing out the, the amount of seats there are, they're fifth in the league. So almost a sellout for every game. See if we can rebound a little bit and uh, get back to the winning ways. So speaking of stats, I wanted to take a minute to thank the sponsors of this video, Footballogy. This is an amazing app for any soccer fan. You can see my profile, you can see all the matches I've been to. It's a great way to keep track of your whole football fandom history. I mean, honestly, all kinds of stats like your most seen club, most visited stadium. There's over 100,000 stadiums in the database, more than 1,500 tournaments worldwide, including 40 in the US. Plus, there's an awesome badge system so you can get it for all different competitions you've been to like for me this year was Copa America, Sudamericana, in the past I did the Gold Cup. Although the app's free to use there is a premium upgrade. It's got a really cool feature where you can find nearby matches. This is great whether you're at home and you just want to explore a new area of football culture in your community or honestly you just need to keep up to date on your own team. You can see what games are nearby with and then also if you're traveling and you want to see the football somewhere these guys cover all over the world at 
so many different levels, you're bound to find something. Not only do they have the games, but they even have the directions. I've been using this app for months and I love it and I really recommend you guys go into the description real quick and download it. Give it a shot. Make sure you check in at your next local match or if you happen to be traveling right now, see if you can find some local footy to get stuck into. All right, heading into the stadium now. It's about 7.20, 40 minutes to kick off. Hoping to catch some of the warm-ups. Maybe get something to eat too. Let's go. For your comfort and safety, the following items are not permitted to be brought in. We're in, it smells amazing. We got PJs, we got cheesesteaks, burgers, dogs, all kinds of beer. But it's quiet though. It is still early for the game, but no one was in line. I have a feeling we're not going to see the most full stadium because it is a Leagues Cup, but we'll see. The union's official supporters group is called the Sons of Ben, and I'm sure some of the Sons of Ben will have some slight differences to my story, but basically, even before Philadelphia even had a professional club in the MLS, the Sons of Ben was there. So they would travel to Washington, D.C., to New York, to places nearby. They would root against the home teams, being typical Philadelphians, just absolutely trying to ruin the the evening for all of the the fans it's one of the few situations i know of in world football where there was a supporters club before there was even a club and now in like the 14 15 season the mls the sons of ben has grown there's even additional fan groups but the originals were the sons of ben who is ben this guy ben franklin the patron saints of philadelphia nine out of ten it's ben love the mural here let's dupe <laughs> And just a quick note while you guys take in some of the sights of the pre-match warm-ups about LSA, who very graciously gave me tickets for Club LSA, a VIP area that also includes the field side seats. So LSA, or Language Services Associates, is one of the world's leading providers of language services in hundreds of languages. For example, imagine if you had to go to the doctor, if you just had to call about your phone bill, but you couldn't communicate, that would be a big issue. So LSA is able to connect clients in various industries with interpreters and translators to be able to make that communication happen. I used to work at LSA myself so I can attest to what a great company and great mission it is and if you'd like more info about them you can check out the link in the description. So today's a special treat for the tickets Club LSA. Can't wait we're gonna have the VIP experience which I've never had before at any football match. Food, drinks, get ready for the game. We got about 30 minutes to kick off so let's check this out. All right we're in here. Very nice. First person I saw Dean Smith, Charlotte head coach, former Premier League coach, pretty cool. So arguably the coolest thing about LSA, other than the great food and the drinks at the bar and everything, is that you're literally like in the hallway where the players enter and exit the locker rooms. So before the game, we got to see players. We saw Union Sporting Director Ernst Tanner, you can see right there. The Charlotte players walking in and out. So like just an amazing all access experience. And then like, look at this, like literally the full lineup before the game as the players are preparing. You get up close and personal, like within a few feet of the guys. It's just amazing and such a cool and unique way to amp yourself up for the game. Smile, Gare. Game's about to start. Boys are getting ready. Pretty cool. After the players walked out for the pre-match, we had to hustle and get to our seats. It was so cool to walk just to the edge of the field itself for the national anthem. And then I was about to walk to the seats, but I kind of got cut off because the Union mascot Fang and some Liverpool guys, so, so I got stopped by security. Then I could finally go through as the players were making the announcements. And as I was walking, I was trying to make sure I didn't like trip or fall over, but I just couldn't keep my eyes away from the field. It was so cool just to be right up in front of everything. 
then it was time to settle in, kind of check out the other fans and, and really be present in the experience, and then it was kickoff. Here we go, kickoff. One of the union players got a yellow card literally before the whistle even went off. Fans were on the refs from the first minute, not that that's anything unique. At the back of the river end, I noticed this group of guys in banana suits, and it's best that they let their symbolic protest do the talking for them. What are the bananas them. all about? The union's slipping, bro. Get with the times. In a row, though, baby. Sell the team, bro. Oh, whatever your name is. Ray J, don't pay for a player. You spend more money on fireworks than you do for the team. It was a pretty tame first half, definitely not the most dynamic match of football I've ever seen, but the Union had some chances, so did Charlotte. The fans in the river end were really trying to keep the noise up and keep the energy going. A couple close misses here and there, but nothing super productive. At one point watching Fang, the Union's mascot, dance and try to make some friends was probably more interesting than the game itself. But then finally, in the 33rd minute, we had something to really cheer about. After the goal, the game kind of settled into its previous pattern, so I just took a moment to actually like soak it all in, just get into really admire the technique and the quality and the speed of play, like so, so close. It's a type of thing you don't see on TV or from farther away is just like actually feeling the speed and, and the quality of the players, so that was like a really awesome, unique perspective to have. One nil at the half for the Union. Decent game so far. Love these seats. Unbelievable being right on the field. I can touch it if I reach. Awesome spot to watch the match. So the halftime, we've had some music. We didn't have a halftime show. Normally, you have some kind of halftime show and entertainment. I guess it's not on the docket. At halftime, I popped back into Club LSA to get a view of the players going to and from the locker rooms. Cool aspect of this fully immersive experience. Honestly, not that interesting. I mean, it's just like athletes walking, but uh, we got some high fives, so that was pretty cool. Let's go, boys. Come on, see it. Then I remembered how spoiled I was being in Club LSA with free drinks because I saw the price of beers and it just made me physically ill. Came back in the second half a little bit late, but judging by everybody's mood, I didn't really miss too much. The score remained 1-0 and there's probably even fewer chances in the second half. We did get to see a little bit of some pushing and shoving when Union midfielder Jose Martinez got a late kick and was down for a little bit. The 
best chance for either team was from a corner kick that center back Jacob Pleasance headed on. Danny Gazdag put it in, but then it was ruled offside, and even after a short VAR review, they decided that the call on the field would stand, so it stayed at 1-0. Tight last few minutes, one nil. Very tight. Is that two for we're getting a second goal? <laughs> Peace to the result. And after a slightly surprising only six minutes of stoppage time, the score did end in favor of the home side. Goalkeeper Andre Blake got to bang the drum in celebration. And everybody had a good mood going into the fireworks show. Three points for the Union. Cool. You got to do. Three points. Third win in a row. First win the League's Cup. Solid result. I'd say like 70% of the stadium filed out to the parking lot to head home, but a few of us did stay to watch a really nice fireworks display over the Delaware River. Then it was time to pop back to Club LSA for the post game. Luckily, with three points in the bag, everybody was in a good mood, and we were able to meet some of the players, get some photos. Pops even got an autograph, which he was super excited about. And uh, yeah, it just kind of was a cherry on top of a really awesome evening. Bien, Drujo, estás lesionado, todo bien. Está bien. Gracias. Ah, pero un foto, por favor. All right, so players have been coming out right out of there. A lot of people getting autographs, pictures, all that stuff. Really cool, very accessible. Everybody's really friendly. Obviously, it helps that we got three points and a win for the Union to start the League's Cup. So it's been a great day here. We're going to head outside, but it's just kind of cool with the not many people left in the stadium. It's going to be empty and kind of that feeling after anticipation, all the energy, everything's happened. Now it's chill, but great day here. Club LSA we got hooked up that I never expected, never imagined having. It was awesome and just had a great evening here. Wow, pretty surreal. Don't see anybody else here. A few dozen or so thousand people were here about an hour ago. We had the fireworks, everything going off, and now just quiet.